hi guys and welcome back today we'll be doing something a little bit fun light-hearted so basically we're building an atm project on python i will be using sublime text 3 as my editor you can use any other editor or even ide on my sublime i am going to create a file as you can see when you freshly open sublime there's like an untitled file that opens up so i'm going to name this file by simply going to save as and i've already created a folder called atm project atm project and inside that atm project i'm going to save this file and the name is going to be atm.py for python so my editor will recognize this as a python code or python file so let's get to it so now we the first thing we're going to do is we are going to display a welcoming message on our atm display and that message is going to be welcome to abc bank please insert your card how do we achieve that we use the print function inside quotation marks we put whatever message we want to display on our screen so we're gonna i'm gonna go with welcome to abc bank and then on the next line so I need two spaces in between. So I'm going to add to one more forward slash N. And then I'm going to say insert your card. So let's see how this looks. So we're just going to simply go and build the. And then as you can see, we have the welcome message. Welcome to ABC Bank. Insert your card. However, the program does close out now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to prompt the user to enter a pin but before we do that we have to first define what that pin is so we're going to create a variable called password you can name it whatever you want but i prefer to call it password so this is the pin for my atm so i'll just make it a simple one two three four I've defined the variable and I've also given it a value. So think of a variable as a container. So inside it, you have this integer. It's a numerical value of 1,234. It's going to sit inside this password. So now we need to, to prompt the user to insert the pin. So now how do we prompt the user to, ins to insert a pin? We will use the input function. So this function allows users input, meaning whatever you punch in on the keyboard will be returned by this function into your program. So it allows you to input characters or strings using your keyboard. So how are we going to do this? We're going to say, we're going to give, give another variable called pin. We are creating a variable called pin and this variable will say pin is equals to input, right? Another beautiful thing about this input function is that it allows us to add a prompt and this prompt message appears on our screen every time we have to put in information. So that prompt I choose for it to be enter your enter your four digit pin four digit pin right but here's the thing this input function input function input function returns it returns what we call a string so whatever you whatever you punch in on your keyboard it's a string it's a it's a it's a, it's a string of characters and then we want our pin to be an integer just like our password over here whereas we want our pin to be a an integer right a number so how do we do that so we will have to come here and add this integer function right the integer function and then we take everything here the string that will be returned here we throw it inside that function so sorry i had to cut not copy so anyway so we 
we paste it inside so whatever is returned which will be a string it's going to be converted by this function into an integer which will fit this variable because we want this variable to be an a a number and not a string of characters so an integer okay so now what's next i'm going to use the if statement let's see what i'm going to do here so i'm going to say if pin is equals to password right so in other words if if being prompted for my pin and i enter the pin that matches my password the program should allow me access to the atm right and the account so let's say print for demonstration purposes print um, password or pin correct however else sorry i realized that i forgot to put this pin incorrect try again so let's see if this program is running as we wanted to so now it says welcome to abc bank enter your pin so i'm going to go ahead and enter one two three four and then it says pin correct then that means our if statement our if statement is working perfect however i saw something there that i didn't like so i'm just going to add the new line um, statement there to to put to allow me to enter the pin on the just under this prompt not just after it but under it so just for better or look of the whole thing it looks neater that way but other than that everything seems to be working so what we're going to do next is i'm going to remove this and then start to build first build up the menu uh, the menu list and i want to have options right So one balance, two deposit, three withdraw, four cancel, right? So this will be our menu again. Let's quickly go check if it's running the way we want it to run. So yes, that's much better, but the program still closes. That's fine for now. Now I'm going to add a while loop for it to allow us to have these options running uh, without it closing out on us what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a while loop and then say while choice while choice is not equals to so when choice is not equals to four the program should run the following so basically what this means is that if choice is not four which is cancel then the program should continue but if choice is four then it should omit whatever is under the while loop so it should return back and not continue running the program so we are going to have to define the variable so we are we are going to go there and add another variable called choice i'm going to give it a value of zero and that's fine so now the next thing that i do is i am going to start prompting the user for a choice like what do they want to do do they want to deposit balance or do they just want to withdraw so we're going to do that by saying choice choice equals two again we're going to use the integer because our choice is a number it's an integer so we're going to put in the integer and inside the brackets we are going to convert the string from the input of the keyboard which is simply input 
and then here we're going to put in a prompt for ourselves enter your choice or option so let me just do this so that it can be on the next line and maybe here too I want to leave some space in between the last text and the this following text over here so there will be at least two lines there um so yeah it will prompt us to enter our choice and maybe the choice should be displayed on the next line as well so if choice is equals to one so whatever we return here if that is equals to one it should do the following you should print balance is equals to depending on your currency it could be dollar it could be rupees it could be whatever i'm from south africa our currency is rands so i'm going to put an r there and i am going to put this balance which is my variable so i'm going to create a variable called balance this is what matters this is what's going to be displayed so it doesn't matter whatever you choose right here but this has to be consistent with your variable and my variable i'm going to put a variable over here and i'm going to call that variable balance again you can name this variable whatever you want you can call it money you can call it change whatever so my balance is i want to start off at a balance of ten thousand. so i have ten thousand rand in my account again this is an integer so so what's going to happen is this thing is going to print balance equals to the currency and then it's going to put the value of that currency after here so let's see if that works let's see how, did, how that looks like so we're going to go ahead and build oh yeah i see what i did wrong i say if choice syntax error i did not put in the semicolon right there so it's important to put the semicolon after the if and the while loop the while um, statement so let's run it again let's build it again okay so i'm going to put in my password or my pin and enter the option and my option is going to be one then i enter as you can see it says balance equals to ten thousand and after that it immediately redraws the menu so it goes back and reprints the statement which means the while loop is working it's it's going to continue in this while loop until this condition is met and then it's going to leave the while loop so i also saw something i didn't really like there so we are going to add a few more lines at the beginning of the of this menu so i'm gonna add two more lines just to, to separate the last uh, printout with this second menu um, prompt right so that's just for cleaning out the pro the the the, 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 the look the the display it's, it's it doesn't affect the the behavior of the pro the the, the code so now i'm going to add more choices right because i have about four choices so i'm going to add deposit and withdraw to the list to the program so now i say elif which is just simply else if elif choice equals to two it should do the following it should it should deposit right so what we're going to do here is we're going to say deposit so we're introducing a new variable we call it dep equals to again you input the value you want to 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 deposit with your keyboard but we also need a prompt so the prompt will be enter your deposit and again my currency is rents you can put whatever currency there you come down here and you say balance plus equals to deposit or dip which is the deposit so basically what this means is that 
in your deposit which is your new variable you are going to input a value let's say the value is 500 and then that value will sit inside your deposit now the balance which is 10,000 should then be that same balance plus the deposit that's what plus equals to means it just means we are amending the balance by this much so the balance will be one ten thousand five hundred if the however this is a string we have to change it back to an integer or a number so we have to use the integer function and then put everything inside it right so let's see if okay let's let's continue with the with this um now i want to print the the deposited amount and the balance right so i'm going to say print and now i also want to display the balance Uh, balance which is now this new updated balance remember it started at 10,000 then we entered we inputted a value let's say 500 that 500 was amended to the balance using this method and now the balance should be the new balance not the old balance so let's see if this works you go back here you build one two three four enter option two enter enter deposit so i'll enter 500 then enter as you can see deposit amount was 500 the balance is 10,500 so this is working fine even though i just don't like this gap we have here so i'll change that we'll change that by removing this space over here so that's working perfect so i'm going to quickly run through the arrest because it's pretty much the same thing i'm just going to explain here and there but the rest should be fairly easy from this point on and change this to with width for withdrawal width now are we going to subtract so we use a subtraction sign because we have to subtract so the rest is going to be fairly the same so width when you enter four then it will print out this but when it goes back to the to the top of the while loop it will notice that oh, oh we have four so don't continue doing the rest so go out of the program so the program will end at that point so so if the choice is neither one through four then our input is invalid so therefore excuse the noise that you hear um, it's it's raining quite heavily outside and i have the windows open let's run this program and see if it behaves the way we want it to and then let's run through all the options one the balance is ten thousand two we're making a deposit let's deposit 300 rand then our new balance is ten thousand three hundred rand now let's withdraw option three we're gonna withdraw five thousand two hundred and our new balance is 5100 now putting a an invalid entry let's say eight and there it says invalid entry so now let's cancel out we are done and it says session ended goodbye and then it closes the program so there you have it guys that's how you build a simple python atm program